Hi, creative writers. I am here just to talk for a couple of minutes about our class on Wednesday, June 8th, and then your creative nonfiction essay, revising it. Um, and I want to start by thanking all of you for a great first workshop. You know, it's the third day of our class, and we got three awesome drafts. Thank you to Ben and Damien and AC. And, and thank you to Ben, Damien, and AC also for doing such a great job of identifying where you feel comfortable with your writing and helping us, the readers, to help you identify um, ideas for how to fix some things that aren't happening quite yet in your pieces. And so I'm so excited to see your revisions. And thank you, all the readers. I was so, so impressed by all of your comments. They were so um, perceptive and such great, great ideas for the writers who want to make their writing connect with themselves and connect with, with you, the reader, and, and other readers in the world. So thank you so much for all those fantastic comments. All right, so many of you are finishing your creative nonfiction essays um, at the end of the week and over the weekend and revising. And so I created a handout. You know, we don't have a textbook, so I'm sort of in the position of needing to create some handouts for all of you. And so I have some revision strategy ideas. You'll see there's a new idea at every bullet point. I'm not going to read through the document because you can do that. Um, but I do want to recommend that you try true revision, which is taking risks and doing things that is not about polishing and is not about just editing for correctness. It's actually about trying new stuff. So you'll notice that I have a little note here to remind you that if you're fearful of this kind of risk-taking revision that you might just want to save a file, um, a new file of your document and then try some revision strategies. But again, I want you to try to cut and to add. So I have one, two, three, four, five, six ideas for you to consider and I'll keep building a list of revision ideas or revision strategies for you as we go through the semester. But I thought these would be great for the creative nonfiction essay because these tend to be areas, aspects of essay writing that need attention. So give that handout a read. I also want to show you, um, I'm at one of the, you know, I think all the reading is required this semester, you all, but you need to just read to feed your brain for vocabulary, for sentence structure, for paragraph structure, order, connections between the scenes or the paragraphs as we talked about during our workshop today. So I, I told you at the end of class that I was I'm uploading a, let me move my image over, I'm uploading a um, couple of different documents uh, with different genres for this last reading. One of them is an excerpt of a memoir, another is a prose poem. So if you're writing a lyrical essay or interested in writing po in using poetic language, you might want to check out the prose poem. It's actually called a prose poem. Or um, you might want to check out this memoir excerpt. The memoir excerpt is a PDF, and you'll notice in the document reader that it is not reading um, in the right direction. So I wanted to show you that the document reader does have the ability to turn the document. You'll notice that I'm on the page where the reading is and all I did was click on these two arrows and then I got to move the document PDF to where I need it to be. If you're going to print it out, it'll probably print out sideways so you'll be able to read it like you would a book but it'll be a handout um, that you could fold if you would like. So one other thing I wanted to call to your attention in this memoir, which I think would be a really cool addition to your CNF essay, because a memoir would kind of fit within that um, category of CNF essay, is think about a disclaimer or a preface of some kind if you think you need it. This particular piece has a disclaimer. It talks about some of the language that is being intentionally used, defines it, and tells why. So then that justification or explanation doesn't have to be included in the essay. Um, this is a chapter of a memoir, so we can treat it like it's an essay, right? And then there's um, another disclaimer at the bottom. So you might pay attention to the disclaimer and think about using one if you think it's necessary or think about writing a preface, um, if you think something needs to be said before your essay starts. All right, I think that's all I have, y'all. The homework is, um, if I scroll up a little bit and click on the link to the top of the page, um, it takes me back to the um, homework announcements. It is posted now, 
um, you found this video here. So make sure you review all of the thinking homework that I've asked you to consider. Think about a, a check-in meeting if you think that's necessary. If you'd like some feedback on your draft before um, the weekend, I will be offline over the weekend. And then here are the links to the two um, readings and then the link to the handout. And then this is where you will upload and submit your revised, edited, finished, creative nonfiction essay. Take care, you all. See you on Monday the 13th in class. Bye.